Hey guys, this is a video series on Java interview questions. This is part one of the video series in which let us discuss about few questions that are asked in object, class and constructors. Let us get started. These are few questions which we are going to discuss now. What is an object? What is a class? What are instance variables? What is a static variable? Can a Java file have more than one class? Should we have a main method in all the classes? How to compile a Java class? What is the use of a constructor? What is the meaning of a local variable hiding the instance variable? Can a class have more than one constructor? What will happen if we give our own constructor? These are few questions that we are going to discuss now. Let us get started. What is an object? Any real world entity can be an object. It can be a physical entity, a conceptual entity or a software entity. In case of physical entity, it can be any physical object. Say for example, laptop, mic, bottle, pen, student, employee, car, vehicle, bike. You can just go on. And in case of conceptual entity, it can be a chemical process, billing, order, history. And in case of software entity, it can be linked list, array list and so on. What does an object have? An object has state and behavior. By state, we talk about the properties of an object. Say for example, if you take this pen as an object, what does this pen have? The pen has height, color, brand, model, shape, price. Similarly, if you take a student object, what does a student object has? A student has student name, student ID, department, mobile number, city, blood group. Now, when you say behavior, by behavior, mean we talk about the functionalities that particular object can perform. If I take this pen as an example, with the pen what can we do? We can write, we can draw. So the methods can be can write, can draw. Similarly, if you take a student object, what are the functionalities for the student object? Get grades, print hobbies, get details. These are the functionalities that I can perform with a student object. Okay. Then, what is a class? A class is a blueprint of an object. It's like a template. The class defines what an object should have. A class is a collection of objects with the common properties, behavior, relationships and semantics. Say, if I talk about a student, one student have a set of properties. If I take a collection of student, it becomes a student class. Collection of car objects become car class. How do you create an object? When you write student, student, you are just creating a reference. It is not an object. If you want to allocate memory, then you need to use the new keyword. So here, new student, whatever you are seeing on the right hand side, that is your object. Stud, S-T-U-D, that is a reference pointing to the object new student. This is an example of a class. The class name is student. The student class has properties as name, age, city, Phone, that is mobile, department. What are the functionalities that student object can perform? Add student, get details, get student by ID, get grades, show hobbies. These are the functionalities that the student object can perform. So it can be added inside a class. So here you can see a class and an object. Next, what are instance variables? The properties that belong to an object are called as instance variables. They take the default value of that particular data type. If you talk about the student class, what we have seen earlier, the properties that you are seeing here, they are nothing but the instance variables. They take the default value of that particular data type. In case of name, city and department, they are of type string. So the default value will be null. In case of age, it is integer. So the value will be zero. In case of phone, it is long, so the value will be 0, L. The instance variables can be called using an object. In this example, name and city will be null, 
student id will be zero next what are static variables the variable that is common to all the objects in a class are called as static variables in case of static variables you will be having only one copy for that particular class if you talk about the student class that we were dealing with earlier what can be common for all the student objects the college name the college timings the break timings these are common for the student objects they are also called as class variables because in terms of static you will be having only one single copy you should call it only with the class name will it work if i call with the object name of course it will work but if you think in detail a student object doesn't have the authority to change the break time or the college timing so it has to be done on a higher level that is on the class level so static variables are also called as class variables now let us see few questions on java compilation can a java file have more than one class yes of course in one single java file i can have more than one class in which name should i save the file name say for example in my java file i am having class a class b class c and class d in which name should i save it if all the classes are having only default access specifier if you have not used public access specifier then you can save it in any name you can save it as a.java b.java c.java d.java or trial.java demo.java or any name.java but if any of the class is going to have public access specifier say for example in my case b class is having public access specifier means then i need to save the file as b.java only so in one single file you can have any number of classes but only one single class can be public if you are trying to add more than one public class in a single file you will get a compiler error saying that remove the public access specifier or save this class in a different file now i am having more than one class in a single file and we have seen how to save it now how will you compile it in my case the file name is b.java for compiling we will be using the compiler java c java c space b.java when i compile what are the class files that i will be getting a dot class b dot class c dot class and d dot class now i need to run the class for running the class i need to use the interpreter java now which class should i run should i run a class or b class or c class or d class run the class that is going to have public static void main is it mandatory that i should have public static void main in all the classes it is not required it is enough that you have public static void main in one single class it is like an entry point to the other classes from this particular public static void main you will be calling the methods of other classes by creating an object so i can have more than one class in a single file only one class can be public and i can have one single class that is having public static void main while calling the class you need to call the class which is having public static void main assuming i have got my public static void main in uh, d class then how will i call java space the class name that is d that's how you have to run it next is let us see few questions about constructor what is the use of a constructor the constructor is used to initialize the instance variables can a class have more than one constructor yes of course with different parameters if you don't create any constructor for your class the compiler will automatically generate a default constructor without any parameters what is the syntax for the constructor the constructor start with the class name followed by the parenthesis followed by the curly braces within which you can initialize your instance variables usually we prefer to go in for parameterized constructor if we create our own parameterized constructor the compiler will not generate any default constructor that is if you have not created any constructor in your class only in that case the compiler will generate a default constructor but if you have added the constructor the compiler will not generate any default constructor okay can a class have private constructor yes of course 
it can have a private constructor but you cannot create objects for this particular class then what is the point of a private constructor when you want to create singleton classes that is you don't want others to create an object for your class you can have private constructor you yourself can create an object for that particular class and return it using a static method if i want to get an object of your class i need to call the static method so one purpose of a private constructor is when you want to create a singleton class how to call from one constructor to another constructor within the same class using this keyword by matching the parameters of the other constructor can constructors be overloaded of course yes that is why we are saying we can go in for more than one parameterized constructor what is the meaning of local variable hiding the instance variable assume you are having a parameterized constructor which is having the same variable names as that of your instance variable the parameters within the constructor has more preference because they are local variables say for example i am having an employee constructor that is taking two parameters my instance variable names and the variable names within the parentheses are also same so in this case if i try to assign like this name equal to name salary equal to salary what will happen is the values will be assigned only to these local variable name and salary what will happen to the instance variables the instance variables still will have the default values of that particular data type this concept is called as local variable hiding the instance variable what should i do if i want to assign the values to the instance variable for that we need to use the keyword this this refers to the current object so in this case the meaning is for this instance variable name assign the local variable value name for this instance variable salary assign the local variable value salary so this concept is called as local variable hiding the instance variable the rescue for this is using the keyword this so these are few questions that can be asked in object constructor and class thank you